Imagine this. Your classroom is equipped with new technology and your students are bustling about. Excited about creating a multimedia class presentation about the Roman Empire to be shown on Parents' Day. Some students are researching online. Some are preparing text in Word. A couple are adding graphics in PowerPoint. And others are debating what to title the presentation. How does this make you feel? Sure, this scenario might be a slight exaggeration of what you might actually encounter when technology is brought into your class, but it's intended to get you to think about how you view teaching. It's understandable if you view the scenario as undesirable, as the traditional approach to teaching views successful learning environments as being quiet and orderly. To truly integrate technology successfully, however, teachers may need to reconsider their ideal classroom environment. In most traditional scenarios, the teacher stands in front, facing and lecturing to students who are seated and quietly listening and taking notes. Instead, with technology integration, the reality might look similar to the hustle and bustle presented earlier. By rethinking your teaching approach, you can recognize that such chaos is actually desirable, as it's indicative of students being excited about and motivated by technology. Furthermore, it illustrates teamwork and builds collaboration skills. It shows that technology can change the learning environment to focus more on student-centered activities than on teacher direction. With technology like interactive tutorials providing new avenues for teaching, teachers can begin to shift their roles from being presenters of knowledge to facilitators of learning. It's a non-traditional approach, but when technology is involved, this method is much more effective than traditional lecture formats. This is because teachers can't just tell students how to effectively use technology. Students must also work with the technology themselves. For example, you can conduct a survey of your students' favorite ice creams and then have them design graphs of their results in KidPix Studio Deluxe. The exercise not only gives them experience with the program, but it also shows them how numerical data can be conveyed very well visually. As the previous examples suggest, technology requires active learning in addition to traditional passive learning. Furthermore, it can foster collaborative learning as classes most likely will not all be equipped with enough computers for each individual student. Introducing more collaborative tasks into lesson plans challenges traditional approaches. The need to shift away from traditional teacher-centric instruction may become increasingly clear. For instance, it's likely that your students have previous Internet experience and may even know more about web searching than you do. This challenges old beliefs in which teachers are always the ones teaching. As we've discussed, introducing computers, software, and other technology may necessitate a change in your ideas about how classes should be conducted. Alternative teaching styles move from traditional, lecture-based notions of teaching to collaborative, student-centered approaches. With this in mind, try this exercise and then click Next to move on. The success of technology in the classroom relies more on the attitudes and approaches that educators take than it does on the actual hardware or software introduced to the class. Teachers need to adapt to the changes technology brings just as much as students do. Keeping an open mind and remembering your larger goals in teaching will make the transition easy. 
Here are some real-life examples of how the concepts discussed in this lesson could be used in a classroom, either as a teaching tool or an administrative aid.